Another way that you can edit textures is by using your image editing software to directly link it into SketchUp. So I use Photoshop to edit my textures. And what we can do is in SketchUp Preferences, if we go to Applications, what you want to do is find the application file for your image editor. In this case, I'll choose Photoshop as my option here. Now on a Mac, you can go to Applications. On a PC, you want to go to your Program Files folder to find your image editing program. Next, let's click on the paint bucket and double click on the texture. And in the Edit Material palette, we can click on this icon to launch our external image editor. In this case, it launches Photoshop and it brings up the texture. Now one quick change that we'll make, I'll just use this stamp tool and just stamp an area here. We can stamp this edge and maybe even out the texture here. And the stamp tool is a really great tool. Let's try that. Once you make changes, just make sure your texture is flat. And then all you have to do is click Save. So you can go to File. Save, and then close the image. It essentially creates a temporary file that it caches. So when you click Save and close this, and go back into SketchUp, you'll see that that texture updates. You could just edit the texture before you import it in Photoshop, but this is a great technique if you have to edit after the fact. One thing to be aware of is if you crop the texture, remember to adjust your width and height as you modify that. Let's move on in the model and move on to the next video where I'll show you how you can hide edges in SketchUp.